2018 Zero FX with a uh, broken belt and I am going to put a chain kit on the bike as the belt didn't last too long I'm pretty abusive if I'm honest um, so I'm going to document the process um, I already have the bike up on my lift here rear wheel in the air I have some instructions for it I've already pulled off the uh, little boot guard which uh, just bolted there because it covers up the uh, left hand swing arm bolt. We gotta pull the swing arm off obviously to do this. On the right side Zero wants you to take like the whole brake pedal off and some other stuff. I think I can just get by with just doing these two holes and I can just kind of pull this bracket out of the way. I should be able to get to the, the swing arm bolt um, just pulling that out of the way and leave the brake connected. Um, they also want you to uh, undo the lower shock bolt. Again I think that's not necessary um, so I'm going to give it a try without. I do have to pull the rear wheel off I have the, um, these aren't obviously factory they're just like skateboard wheels and some all thread to give me like an axle slider so I gotta pull those off and redo that otherwise um, it's just the four of these bolts um, to change the um, the rear sprocket or the rear pulley I guess to the to the rear sprocket uh, for the chain, there's a chain guard that goes, I think, mounts on this up underneath. I haven't actually received the kit yet, but um, just getting started, and uh, I read through the instructions. So once we get the swing arm out, um, as you can see, the motor is uh, concentric with this, um, with the actual swing arm pivot. Um, but there's not any clearance back behind there, so that, f to, to, to get the pulley off, um, uh, that's one of the reasons that the swing arm has to come off because we need this clearance here to actually um, pop that part off. So, uh, like I said, I'm just getting started. I've only pulled those uh, the rear brake thing off and, and the boot guard here so far. And um, really, I just think I'm just going to pull the wheel off and these two swing arm bolts and see where that gets me. I should be able to swap the rear sprocket. Um, to, get to, uh, to get the front sprocket off, with um, because there's you can't put any tension on it and, and obviously the motor just spins um, you're supposed to heat up and you can't really see it but that bolt there with a torch to sort of break down the Loctite a bit um, I'm a little nervous about that because that's the the main rotor shaft going into the motor and I don't want to obviously cause any internal damage but um, I have a torch I will put it on there for a little while and then I have a big impact gun uh, and that's what they say. I think it's a six millimeter hex. Um, I can just barely see it. Um, and you got to use the impact gun. I don't know if I can apply some tension, maybe just with my hand or something, to assist that. Um, but that's the story. That's what we're doing here. And uh, I'll update as we go. I've made some progress. We've got the rear wheel um, off. So pull the axle out, the axle slider. You can see that set up there. It's just a piece of all thread. Uh, that's the old hardware. It's a T45 Torx, I think. Um, I haven't gotten the chain kit yet again, but the, um, um, the instructions say that it's supposed to be like a 6 mil hex, but they were T45s on mine, so that might be a 2018 update. I'm not sure. So this is all. This should just pull off. Um, so there's our old pulley. There's our mount where we're going to put the new one. Set this over with the broken belt. Um, these are the ends, it, that's where it snapped. I think it, I, I must have st sucked up a, uh, a stick or branch or something through there to, to hurt the belt in the first place. As I suspected, I was able to get, there's through our swing arm. So the swing arm is off. I did not take out the lower shock mount. I just stuck a uh, big extension just to kind of hold it up out of the way. So not a big deal, but one less bolt to take off. Um, and, uh, and again, I didn't need to take this off on the brake side. So I was able to just pull this out of the way. And um, there's our motor. So here's the swing arm hardware. So not too bad so far, just a few bolts. And I think I'm ready, just about ready to put the kit on. The only other thing now you can see is that, um, oh, that's not even a hex. There's another, there's a Torx there too. So um, let's see if that's the same size. So I can reach it. 
Might need, it. Might need an extension. Uh, it feels bigger. It must be a T50 or something. So, um, 47. There's the weird in-between size. Yeah. Yeah, it feels like a 50. Um, so anyway, I got to pull that off. I got to heat it up and do that. So that's next. Got the impact. It is a 50. So I put this lined up on here. There we go. Um, I didn't heat it yet. I just want to see if it'll go. I'm guessing not. Wow, it went. No heat. Cool. Perfect. Bolts out. It's in my hand here. Um, so it's just this uh, spacer. Flat beveled edge on that side. And this doesn't, I don't see any Loctite on there. The dirt's from where it dropped down into the, uh, above the kickstand area. But yeah, I don't, I don't see any evidence that there was any Loctite on here. So um, it's a uh, you know, pretty strong pneumatic um, impact gun, but it came off, what, two or three little aga agas on there. And yeah, this should just pull off. All right, it's on there a little bit. Ooh. All right, well, I might have to pry that off with something. I'll be back. All right, that was easy. It was just a little stronger than my hand. I, I ended up using a crowbar, but it, um, it didn't take that much pressure to, to pull it off. So there is the front uh, pulley. Yay, the parts came. We have a chain, rear sprocket, uh, hardware, front sprocket, that's a JT, uh, master link. Uh, the instruction said it would be a clip. It is a rivet style. Um, this is a the chain guide, the cage, and this is like a rubber buffer. I assume this goes in here. I haven't played with it yet. Um, and I'm not sure what this is. It says MX chain buffer. Um, this might be for a uh, different bike. Uh, not sure. I'll reread the instructions. Um, you do need the chain is uh, I think it's 120 link, but it's supposed to be 110 link. So we have to cut uh, 10 links off of it, and we have to rivet the uh, uh, master link on. So uh, you do need a uh, chain tool. So I have my handy Motion Pro. Uh, press break um, uh, rivet tool so that's what we'll be using if uh, this is probably the most specialized tool for this install that you need these go around 70 or 80 bucks for a, uh, a chain tool so if you don't have one if you're looking to do it yourself make sure you add that into your budget for the project oh, there actually is a clip style master link so we have both a clip or rivet, whichever way you want to go. But you still need to break the chain to cut the links off, so you still need the chain tool. Um, the hardware, they do give you um, new bolts. If you remember the old bolts were those guys for the rear sprocket. Um, this one is countersunk, so you have to use the new bolts um, so it goes flush um, with the sprocket. Done, that was easy. One quick other note, uh, earlier my, chain, my, uh, my belt rather had snapped so I didn't need to take the, um, uh, the chain guard and, and uh, hugger fender off. Um, if, your chain, if your belt rather is still intact, um, you will need to, they say to remove it, but really you just need to remove the left side, those two, um, I think they're three mil hex. Um, if you just remove those two uh, screws there, you can just lift up you know, the, the edge of it here and just slide the belt through. You don't need to fully remove it. So that other rubber piece, goes there around the uh, swing arm. Um, it just protects the swing arm from uh, the chain uh, slapping it on top there. Uh, it gets clamped here with the small hardware that comes with the kit. This is the um, installed chain guide. I just have to tighten it down, but the longer uh, bolts, um, again, some washers and nuts, all come in the kit as well. Um, the rubber bit just inserts, you know, inside there. All right, chain is broken. 
Hopefully I counted 10 links properly. I didn't show the spacer earlier, but this comes with the kit as well. This goes on the motor shaft so that the sprocket is properly located and doesn't wobble around because it's much thinner than the, uh, the pulley is. Don't forget your thread locker red 271 high strength on the um, on the bolt. Swing arm bolts back on. Um, torque to 75 foot pounds, that 10 mil. I don't know if you can see this down there, but I'm not real keen on the clearance. The camera's not focusing. Um, of the hardware from the chain guard to the tire. There it is. Uh, again, not focusing on it, but it's like five millimeters maybe. Um, I'm going to turn that hardware around so the nuts are facing out. All right, now I have the the bolts sticking out toward the left side of the bike. So the other side is much more flush and should clear the tire much better. Okay, I think I'm done. I put back the, uh, after the swing arm, put back the cover plate. Um, obviously the rear axle, I'll put my slider back on. Don't forget to put your brake back together. Uh, when you put the rear tire on, obviously pump your rear brake. Um, the chain wasn't uh, uh, quite as, as simple. They said to cut t 10 links off. I did that in the instructions. Uh, I probably shouldn't have. Um, just set the length properly. I forget how many ended up being, but basically I, I had to recut the chain. Um, good thing I had two master links, so I used the rivet master link um, to put the chain back together. And then I cut it at a different spot and put the clip style master link to um, get it to the appropriate length. So it seems to be all together. Um, you know, no real gotchas there. Uh, some of the hardware is going to vary. You might have six mil hex. Um, or you might have the Torx um, back here and on the motor um, that actually holds the front sprocket on. Those were um, different. Uh, yeah, they probably updated the hardware and didn't update the instructions or whatever. So depending on what year you have, that might vary a little bit. But basically, it was pull this off, pull the other side off the brake, swing arm out, um, pull these two off if you need for the slide the belt out take the rear tire off um, you know the rear axle out pop those four pull the pulley off put the sprocket on use the new hardware button them up um, uh, take off you know with the impact gun the uh, the front pulley put the new one on um, use some Loctite torque it down properly um, and basically just put everything back together, cut your chain, uh, put the chain guard on. As I mentioned, I did flip those around. Um, it would work the other way, but um, I felt more comfortable with that. And uh, make sure your um, the ABS, it has that little stop there that sits against the caliper bracket so that the ABS sensor doesn't um, get caught up and, and spin around with the, with the wheel. So that holds that in place. Um, the chain adjusters were really stiff. They only went in a certain amount, and they got really, really stiff. Um, I actually ended up threading them all the way in, but I would go like four turns in and then two turns out because it, it felt like I was tapping the threads into whatever is inside the swing arm here. Um, so it got really tight. It was a little worrisome, but um, it never bound completely up. And again, if you go kind of two in and then or four in and then two out, you can kind of work them in as much as you need. I ended up bringing them back out to get the chain to the uh, proper tension. It's about an inch slack, which is a little tight, especially for a dirt bike. Um, if you're used to, to street bikes or other dirt bikes, so it's only about an inch. Um, but that's because it doesn't the um, uh, the geometry doesn't change as the rear suspension compresses because the swing arm is concentric with the front sprocket, so there's no geometry change. Um, so the slack is the slack. It doesn't need extra. Um, that's it. I think I'm all together. I'm going to uh, put the sliders on and go for a ride.